It's back to school with Phil Stocks Guru. Where learning leads to earning. Tara! Aral tayo! Hello mga ka Phil Stocks! Kamusta tayo dyan? Medyo volatile yung market recently but I hope that we're, stu- we're still doing well with our trades. Today, titignan natin ang chart ng one of the cement companies in the PSE and that is Semex Holdings Philippines Inc. I-apply rin natin dito yung one of the most commonly used technical indicators which is the moving average convergence divergence. Let's see how this technical indicator, this momentum indicator can help us in our trades. Makikita ninyo sa inyong mga screens yung price chart at yung MACD chart ni Semex Holdings Philippines. Mapapansin natin na every time na nagko-cross above or nagko-cross yung MACD line which is the blue line above the signal line which is the red line, makikita natin na umakit rin yung price ni CHP. In fact, the last three times na nangyari ito, prior to the latest one, the latest crossover of the MACD line above the signal line, which was in uh, July 30, 2019, um, ang average na itinaas ng price ni CHP from the crossover uh, or the crossing of the uh, MACD above the signal line to the, from that point to the peak closing is about 22%. Yung pinakamataas naman was recorded from April 26 to May 15, 2019. And that is 40%. A 40% surge in the price of Semex Holdings Philippines Inc. However, mapapansin din natin na kapag tuluyan ng nawawala ng momentum si MACD, usually sumusunod na rin yung price ni Semex. The downward movement is confirmed once the MACD line crosses below the signal line. Currently, Semex is following a trend support and a trend resistance. Also, nag-occur na rin yung golden cross sa kanya, which is the 50-day moving average crossing above the 200-day moving average, which is a bullish signal. Given these, it looks like CHP is already good to trade. Now, to further help us out, always remember your MACD guidelines. Enter when MACD is already gaining momentum, especially when it's nearing the signal line. Be aggressive once the MACD line crosses the signal line. Sell your positions once the MACD line is already losing momentum. And finally, Always remember that no one indicator can tell it all. So validate the validate your MACD analysis with your other technical indicators. I hope you learn and I hope you learn. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. This is Teacher Japet, class dismissed.